Hi friends, today we are going to see about the CodeSubJS reporters. Today agenda is we are going to see five different type of reporters. CLI, XML JNet reporter, HTML reporter, step-by-step -step report and finally Allure. Let's go to the first topic, CLI. CLI is a command line interface report. So whenever we run uh, using npx CodeSubJS run, we can additionally use hyphen hyphen steps so that will by default it will print the test case name as well as test steps in the um, terminal so let's see npx codesubjs hyphen hyphen steps so here i am using puppeteer i have a two test cases simple just a google search just to open the page and validate something exit the two test cases just for the dummy testing purpose so i have entered the command npx code sub js hyphen hyphen steps so by entering this you can see the each steps are printing here so whatever as part of steps are printing here so this is the first one we just we just print the each and every steps in the terminal itself that's it. Second option is XML JNet reporter. So to get this report, we need to install the dependency. So let me install it first. Install npm say hyphen dev. So this is the dependency which we need for X JNet reporter or Mocha XML reporter. So once it is installed. In the code sub config file, there's a mocha attribute is already available. We just need to add uh, uh, the additional reporter option, which will be used for that chain of reporter. So I just add that. So I just want to mention where the mocha file is. So we just generate XML file in this particular folder. I already have, I don't have anything in the output folder. So if I want to get this report, I have to run npx codesubjs run iPhone reporter mocha jnet reporter. And if I do this, to achieve the two test cases, once the test cases are completed, it will create XML results. So this is the XML report. So it is not good for the, the end report for the man in the system, but it will be very useful when you do run the CACD. So it will be um, displayed as part of CI builds, Jenkins, Azure, Travis, CI, like that. It will be very useful during the time. Next, we move to HTML reporter. It also called as Mocha Asub report. So to utilize HTML report, again we need to install a dependency npm install Mocha Asub save dev. So I have started installing this. Dependency we have installed. So again we need to give a, another directory report dar colon we just need to mention what's the directory that's it so just say report dar as directory as output so if you want to run this report you need to enter npx cutsubjs run reporter mocha asan so this is the third type of report which will generate html file so once i enter So path are passed. Now you can see in the output folder the HTML file generated. Brain Explorer, lab click to open it. So now you can see the HTML reports, the two test cases, which individual steps will be printed under like a simple uh, HTML report. Now I move to the 
next report step by step report to add step by step report you just need to go to config file and say you need step by step report enabled step by step report just mention enabled colon true so whenever the step by step report is running it will create each step say as a screenshot and capture in the folder the ones if it is successful run then it will delete the screenshot files only the failure scenarios are saved in the folder so just for the purpose of uh, saving the space if we don't want to delete by default then uh, we need may need to add a very successful flag false so by default it will be true now for the demo purpose we don't see any output i want to show you the output so i just made as a false to run this report we just use we can use simply use code sub js run that's it because by default plugins is enable this uh, plugin so you no need to mention anything in the run just click enter it will run the to test case once it is finished you can see the file records is created here you can see two record folder record folders are created so one for each scenario so i'm double clicking the records you can see two test case click the first test case you can see the first screenshot second step second screenshot so for every test case it will save this kind of information but it, it, it saves screenshot for every step. If you have 100 steps for one test case, then it will save 100 screenshot. So it will always be used. Um, the default really successful as a true by default. We need it only for the debugging purpose mostly. So that will be helpful. Let's make it as a true. So next thing is ALU report. So ALU report is uh, another mostly used uh, you know most of the testing sort because uh, it's simple and beautiful report to utilize allo report you might need to install the allo dependencies first so npm install allo command line just install it once that is completed you can go to config file and say allo enabled true so once again you just so it should be used in a plugin so we don't want to mention anything in the run just simply say code sub js run put down the total case Then the completed to test case. Uh, that's a folder new file created in this uh, output folder. Uh, to run this allo report, uh, maybe my PowerShell doesn't work properly. I just right click here, to bash, say allo serve output. So this is the command which will help to open this particular XML file, XML file and generate a HTML format. Just allo server output. So you can see the reports are generated. So everything is here. You can see step one, step two, step one, step two. It's cool. But uh, it doesn't have any screenshot actually. So if we want to add a screenshot, so that is uh, we can ask step by step report to include the screenshot in the allo report also so what i can able to do is like i go back to config file and say screenshot for allo report to simply it will do it will just simply add screenshot for every steps 
in the other so just say run open okay to test case completed now i go to the same directory stop it allow server port now we have a google search now you can see the screenshot is attached for each steps you can see so even if failures it automatically attaches the screenshot we no need to do additional steps to capture the screenshots that's it today we have covered uh, what are the different types of reports available in course of years today we covered cli xml jnet reporter html report step by step report and earlier report thanks guys see you in next video bye